Hello everyone, I'm Kropfen or iKropfen from Austria and I'm here on Oblivion's channel to show you my Sealancer deck because he got the awesome idea that I show my Sealancer deck on his channel and he does the same on my channel so yeah, I'm here and I show you my deck now but before I start, Oblivion, thanks again for the great chance and all the feedback you gave me it's just uh, really nice that we have people like you in this community and not only the you ha I have more subs, I see what we do and all that stuff I think you know what I mean <laughs> But yeah, just thanks again and now I start with the deck profile. Um, first off, three light and darkest dragons. Like a darkness dragon is just a really really strong card. Mainly I play him to get Swap Frog or uh, Lancer back on the field. In Frog Monarch I played two for a long time, but uh, in in uh, Sea Lancer, three is just a must have to get Sea Lancer back if he's destroyed, to get your engine uh, your infinite engine. Sealants has destroyed, Sealants are back, all frogs back, and every time the same. And it's a nice combo that you can, uh, if you really have to defense this turn, uh, so let's say you have only 1000 points left, and you have 3 more monsters, and with one he takes him, then you special summon out your obelisk from your grave with his effect, so in, the, in his battle phase, so it's almost clear that he won't get over it in this battle phase because he can't target it and it's a 4k wall with obelisk so it's really nice the only uh, bad thing about this combo is that obelisk is going back in the grave in the end phase if he is special summoned because of his own effect but yeah it's just a really nice way to survive without um, having a hand trap then i play two dark dust spirits i think oblivion don't play dark dust at the moment i am not sure um, but Dark Dust Spirit is a really really strong card, it's one of my favorite cards in the game and uh, in Sea Lancer it's even more great than in Frog Monarch because let's say your opponent have a Blue Eyes White Dragon and you have a Sea Lancer you can't get over this Blue Eyes White Dragon with the Sea Lancer only if you make two Garchis but uh, yeah, you only have one at the moment or something like that uh, or you don't have a Garchi at the moment so you normal summon Dark Dust blow up uh, all open monsters let uh, no matter how much the, uh, how much out there then your lancer survives because you detach or how that called uh, i don't know in english a frog from sea lancer so let's say poison draw frog so you draw a card you get rid of all the open monsters and then you go for more than 4k damage in one turn and you can do that over and over and over again and if your sea lancer have no more uh, no more materials, just go for a Swap Frog and recycle him and do is just really nice. So you really, sometimes you really hope I need now Dark Dark Spirit or Dark Hole to survive or to get back in the duel and yeah, it, I just like to, I also tested out uh, 3 but it's not that good because if you open up early with 2 it's or 3 it's just, yeah, you don't need 3. And then one Obelisk, Obelisk is just the the beat stick of the deck because uh, out of nowhere you summon obelisk and just run over everything with 4k he can't be targeted his normal summon can't be negated and he um, if they destroy him you can uh, take herald back in the hand no, uh, normal summon him again because three tributes are no problem in the deck and the charge that my locals uh, call the deck obelisk beatdown <laughs> because i win so much duels just with obelisk um, sometimes I place it first time like in a video on my channel and I really love this card because Kaiba and everything Obelisk is just an epic card and I have him in all different uh, artworks or, how it, uh, or whatever it's called and yeah I will never cut this out but it can't be better than you play a deck where you can play your favorite card <laughs> then we have Sea Lancer I think if you are Oblivion subscriber you know what uh, Sea Lancer does it's just your engine every time start up uh, from new and you, sometimes you need he needs to attack this six times to get to get it destroyed and uh, you normally uh, use swap frog before that happens and you recycle him and do it again and again and again and again and then we have three swap frogs swap frog um, I think you all uh, you know too because swap frog is the famous frog I think and uh, or maybe three one frog but I don't know and a nice combo to get uh, to get Sea Lancer out safe. Let's say you summon uh, Sea Lancer and they waylight. And then 
if you do it like uh, like me uh, at the most times I let uh, swap frog and two frog or other water monster in my hand so if um, if Lancer got waylaid I, dis I discard the other water monster special summon out swap frog activate swap frog effect take Lancer back in the hand and next turn I have a new Lancer so it's a safer way to get Lancer uh, to get Lancer on the field with a creeps because if he got Swaylord or something like that you can take him back in the hand and Swap Frog is just the best frog in the deck so never cut it down every time play 3 then Dupe Frog uh, Dupe Frog is I think the second best frog in the deck where, because Ronin isn't a frog <laughs> and with Dupe Frog you search out your Swap Frog or other frogs um, he has a 2k wall if you have him open on the field, your opponent just can attack him. If you have two open on the field, your opponent can't attack anymore. If he is destroyed, he searches. Uh, he don't need to be destroyed in battle, he just searches every time he got uh, destroyed or sent to the graveyard. Uh, not destroyed, sent to the... yeah, you know what I mean. If he goes in the grave, you search. Sometimes he loses timing. If your opponent knows how timing works, they can ruin the timing with their traps or something like that. But in I would say 99% of all time they just run over it. It goes in the grave. You search and yeah, it's just a really really nice card. And I hope I didn't talk something wrong now because English, yeah, you know how it is. If you don't speak your first language, then three poison draw frogs. I play three because um, I really like it in the late game where Doom Frog have no my targets in the deck to search. So you have your three poison draw frogs, and every time your uh, sea lancer would get destroyed, you draw a card. Or if you book of moon a sea lancer or um, negates his effect or something like that, all the frogs goes in the grave. And if three poison draw frogs goes in the grave, you can draw three cards, and yeah, that's really a lot of plus 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 right there. And it's just I have enough ways to get my frogs fast in the grave. Then two Ronins, you don't need more than two. Because you can uh, you can summon a Gachi and reboot the Gachi, so you can in the same turn you summon uh, a Sea Lancer. You can remove four four frogs because of Gachi, uh, um, or you can make uh, if you only need three, you can make a Herald, then uh, detach the Herald, uh, make Herald activate the effect, detach one Ronin and make Ronin again, or you can then tribute the herald or it's so many combos with Ronin and ways to make uh, to remove the frogs and everything it's just really nice and then the last frog is Tribune Frog Tribune Frog is uh, more useful in the stack than the most people think because all think you just play him because he's a frog and why not but also with two uh, Ronins and the Tribune Frog you have three monsters that can come back every turn so you can you can block three attacks just by uh, these three cards almost every turn, and um, also with enemy controller and creature swap, or for obelisk and lightning darkest dragon or the exceeds with battle fader, it's really uh, good to have run. I will never uh, kick it out. And the only card I think you can change you can play two poison draw frogs uh, if you like it, but I think or three Ronins if you really like it, but I think that's. For the moment, that's my perfect frog lineup. But then I have uh, one more water card, water monster. It's Mother Grizzly in Secret Rare. <laughs> I'm really happy uh, that Oblivion uh, uh, played that one in his uh, other deck profile too, because I'm not the only person that likes Mother Grizzly, <laughs> and um, it's just a perfect way to get out Sea Lancer really fast. And the good thing about searchers, the uh, like you can mana Grizzly or with Doom Frog or Poison Draw Frog, whatever, just normal summon it, creature swap it, attack it, and you got the effect because it goes in your grave and it's your monster. And that's a really nice way. And yeah, why not? You can special out from your deck your boss monster and you can detach, uh, not detach, you can discard this for Swap Frog because it's water. And yeah, it's just a really awesome card. And I think. It's really great, but I will pl if I play a card that something like Mother Grizzly, I play three because if you have no more targets, you can just Mother Grizzly, Mother Grizzly, Mother Grizzly, Mother Grizzly, and I hope you know what I mean. And let I move on with the hand traps, Gorse and Trigodia. For me, it's staple to play one of both, and I don't like the second Trigodia. 
because sometimes Trigodia is really overpowered, sometimes they just negate the effect and Trigodia is useless. And yeah, I think one of both is for me personally perfect. You can kick out uh, Gors and play two tracks or play Gors and two tracks, however you like it. Then Battle Fader. Battle Fader is a really nice card. Uh, I think the best hand trip ever. Stop the battle phase. You have a level 1, you can just your opponent attacks, Battle Fader. Next turn, Dragon Frog and a free light and darkest dragon or a level two ex a level one exceed. And then I play three swift scarecrows. No one plays that in Frog Monarch. Ex expect me. Uh, but why not change the deck? Why everyone have to play the same deck? I just play uh, Swift Scarecrow now for uh, a bit longer time and it works out really really great because you have now 6 battle faders you can say and you can uh, use Herald to get this back in the hand or if you uh, made a exit with the battle fader, battle fader goes in the grave too and he uh, don't got removed so whatever you need you can pe uh, take it back in the hand and both of them have their uh, good parts and their bad parts against certain monsters like uh, Star Eater only one works, but um, I don't want to waste too much time now. I move on with the spell cards. Yeah, three creature swaps. You can almost uh, uh, switch all cards in the deck. You can uh, you you can uh, the three one frog, the battle fader, but it's really nice with mana Grizzly, like I said. Then uh, attack and search, and your opponent got the uh, damage. Or with poison draw frog to draw a card. Or if your opponent have no hand cards, Dragodia. Or with two frog to search, or uh, if your sealants have no more equips, creature swap, just recycles uh, useless monster on your field, and in almost every time, if you just time it right, you get a nice monster. Because even if they have two strong monsters and they give you the that one with lower attack, you can also uh, then attack your uh, poison draw frog in attack position, so get the, they get a lot of damage, and you don't have to set the poison draw frog. So you can, uh, you he get damage, you get to, to draw a card. So it's it's a plus so or so. And if uh, if they have almost two mo two monsters that are almost uh, same strong or how, I don't know how to call that exactly, but then just go for a gachi and run over the other monster, and it's really really nice. My my favorite uh, strategy against dragon was to first off. First with enemy controller take the big eye, with big eye take a monster and then take the last monster with creature swap. <laughs> so it's, yeah, I really really enjoy that card, it's I think my favorite spell card in the game. Then three enemy controllers, yeah, three more cards to get you, the uh, strong monsters from your opponent on your side on the field to use them. And it's nice with uh, Dracosuck or Dracosuck, I don't know how to uh, how to say that in English but just take him, make two tokens, and then use his effect uh, to tribute himself to destroy a card. And yeah, why not? If you play a frog deck, why not play 3-1 frog? If you play a 3-1 frog, why not play enemy controller? And also, enemy controller is nice because uh, you normally don't care if you tribute, uh, if you don't have a 3-1 frog, you can just tribute a uh, Ronin. And it's nice to break combos. If you have a monster, just set enemy control, uh, enemy controller or Econ, however you want to call it, and then if your opponent starts to set up his combo, uh, steal one of his monsters for this turn, so he can't make the exit, uh, he was sure he can he can uh, summon, or if he attacks with a few monsters, just uh, take the strongest monster and get it on your field, so he can't run over it this turn, and if he runs over it, he destroys his own monster. The two staples, one foolish, for the combo with Herald, just uh, take whatever you need, like Light and Dark String in the Grave with Foolish, then summon Herald and take it in the hand, and a Dark Hole, because Dark Hole is Dark Hole and you can destroy all monsters. Only Stardust is the pro is a problem, uh, it's the same with Dark Dust, Stardust is just a problem, but you can you can, um, you can can enemy controller him, the, the Stardust on your side on the field, and then Dark Hole or Dark Dust, so yeah, you can I don't know, you can stop that, or first attack him, or uh, yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Then I go to the extra deck. First of my really epic token, Frog the Gem in Ultra, uh, in ultra, ultra Rare, I don't know. Uh, how to, <laughs> I don't even know how to say that in English, but 
Yeah, for a throw player it's funny to have the card where all cards saying uh, you can do that and that, expect to fro uh, expect from the champ, so it's just funny and I got it in all, in in that uh, ultra rare and in Japanese, so <laughs> I think it's really cool, but I will I don't want to waste your time that much, so I have Lionheart, Lionheart is a strong level 1 monster if your opponent have his boss monster out, uh, just summon Lionheart with Battle Fader, Tribune Frog and uh, normal summon a second Battle Fader or whatever and then go for the final deck because you can let your opponent get the damage you would get from fights with him and in uh, a deck position he can't get destroyed so it's a nice card for the final attack and uh, just in some situations I really really like him and so I play one then uh, three Slacker Magicians, my favorite level 1 exit of all time I think. I really hope for a, for a reprint in Super Rare or something like that. Because this card is so freaking good. Uh, your opponent have to attack it twice in one turn to destroy it. And if uh, Slacker Magician got targeted by no no matter what card, you can detach one material and uh, negate the effect and the card goes in the grave. So it's a really nice 2100 wall that can't uh, be targeted or if it's targeted you can uh, you can send the monster to the grave or destroy it. I'm not sure at the moment but yeah, I don't care <laughs> or you don't care. You know what I mean and that's all what counts I would say. And one thing about this, it's a card your opponents make so much so much misplays, misplays if they are not uh, professional or something like that. Because you, if you summon a rare, I don't know why, but if you summon a rare or a common uh, exceed, they all thinking, oh, just one more sh shitty exceed, and but then they target him with their big exceed to destroy it or to change it in attack position or whatever, and you just say negate and goodbye, and I move on with Gachi. Gachi is really nice to tribute him to get more frogs faster removed or to give Light and Darkest Dragon one more. Uh, one more uh, negate by giving him, by give him enough uh, attack and defense, and also to run over stronger monsters. And Gachi is just Gachi. Gachi is the uh, best exit in, in in a level two deck. Then we have two heralds. Herald is that card I talked uh, I really I talk really much about him in the in the deck profiles because so many combos uh, are available with him and yeah. Take your monster back in the hand is just really really nice. Then we have two Dark Mists. Dark Mist is, uh, is the monster in the deck. When your opponent really uh, takes out a really really strong monster, just Dark Mist with 100 attack, then attack, and the half attack from your opponent's monster goes to Dark Mist, so he got 100 damage. And uh, this and Dark Mist goes stronger and stronger and stronger, Ch uh, sometimes they just quit because they don't understand, in Death Row it happens a lot of times, they just don't understand the effect of him, attack him, he got stronger, attack him again, he got stronger, they leave. I don't know why uh, they can't read it, but <laughs> it's a really funny how much misplaced uh, your opponent makes with this extra deck. Then I have a Chimera deck, uh, it's, yeah, at my locals. Um, a lot of people playing, or a few people playing Cyber Dragon in in the Machinima gadget, Machina gadget attacks, or in Antimeter, and I just placed him in. It's a funny surprise because no one expect that someone played, uh, still play this, and I have enough space in it, so I really uh, like this card. So why not? I would say, and then. I have uh, in my Frog Monarch deck what I played uh, for a really long time, uh, all time, and I didn't play it Lancer for this time uh, so long. I played this three, so I got uh, 15, or I played uh, this three and Synchros, so, um, but here I play no Synchros at the moment and no level 6s, so I have a lack of three cards in my extra deck, and I play the three Legendary Frogs. <laughs> Because it's just uh, I just have the place and I don't need something really hard. Because normally all monsters you uh, summon in in one duel are one or two uh, slack magicians and one or two gachis, and that's all you need normally. But uh, yeah, so um, I play this and I place my my extra deck like this, 
and they think what the hell are you playing <laughs> and um, but soon I am on a bigger event and there I will uh, get two Digastros and one more level 2 or level 5 I'm not exactly sure but I hope you forgive me that and you know what I mean and yeah, the important part in this deck are um, the Herald, the Dark Mist, the Gachi and the Slacker Magician you really need them, the other, the rest is just for, yeah, just that you have 15. Then for the side deck, I show it you, I show it really fast because uh, side deck is side deck, you can change it however you like, how, whatever is meta on your deck, but this is pretty stable, it's the same in my Frog Monarch deck. Two Chins, so you got um, versus Trap decks, two End of Anubis versus Grave Base decks, three Vanity's Fiends against everything that needs special summons, and 3 MSD against Skill Drain, Soul Drain and all the other uh, annoying crap. <laughs> um, then 3 Peacemaker, how it's called in English, it's a really nice card because they side out their MSDs because you don't need the MSD against a uh, frog deck. And then you uh, you side in your Peacemakers do, uh, to defense you and if you Really need Driven Frog, just don't pay the 100 life points in your standby phase and Driven Frog comes out and do Soul Release or Soul Releaser, I'm not exactly sure. Um, you can banish 5 cards from either player graveyards. So if you uh, if your opponent have, no have nothing that you really need to remove, you can just remove uh, 5 frogs so you uh, don't need the Ronin spam. Uh, that's yeah. Uh, that's a waste of a side deck card, but you. I think you know what I mean. And if your opponent, let's say you play against Dark World, just remove the bo the boss monsters and you win. Or against uh, certain decks, it's yeah. Like I said in my Frog Monarch deck profile before, it's a freaking OP common. No one uh, knows what it was it does, but it's just ridiculous OP to remove just five cards in the in the graveyards. And no matter what deck they playing, if they need their grave, soul release is really really strong. I'm I'm I know in the early game it can uh, it can be dead if you draw it too early and they have nothing in the grave, but you just let it in your hand or you set it as a bluff or bluff I don't know and then remove. They it won't take him that long in a grave based deck. So yeah, I think that was enough. The, to set about this and I really hope you liked the deck profile if you have some tips or something like that please uh, let me know it in the description box below or check out my channel and yeah I really hope you liked it oblivion thanks again for the great chance and everything and I see you maybe next time on my channel and yeah bye